In this video, we're going to look at how we use quick replies as well as how we can customize quick replies in Spark. We're going to look at this on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Now, what are quick replies? Well, let's talk about messages here real quick. When we're using messages, what we can do is we can like a message. We can laugh at a message. Well, that's basically what quick replies are. When we receive an email, I can respond to an email with a quick reply. I can laugh at an email. I can agree with an email. I can smile at an email. I can like an email with just a click of a button. And then what Spark will do is send that response. What we can also do is customize what that response is and create our own quick replies. And again, we can do this on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. Let's take a look at quick replies. We're first going to look at this on the Mac. So I'm looking at Spark here, and if I look at this email here, this email that Johnny sent me, you're going to see I have the option to offer a quick reply. All I have to do is just click on this, and then from here what I'm able to do is like it, I can smile at it, I can love it, I can also agree, call, say that it's a great idea, tell it that it's cool, or laugh at it. This is what quick replies are. I just select it, and it sends that message, that reply, to that person automatically. We can even customize what these quick replies are. To do that, what we do is we go up to our Preferences for Spark. So I'm going to go up to Spark here, and then we go over to our Preferences. Under Preferences, we have a number of different tabs. What we need to do is go to our General tab. Under General, you're going to see Quick Replies. From here, I can go and select what quick replies I'd like to edit, and I can create new ones. Now, when you create a quick reply, you can put a variable in there. You're going to see it says percent name percent. This is your name. It pulls it from your email account. So depending on which email account you are using, if you have a different name, maybe you have a formal name, when you use a quick reply, it'll pull that name from that account. To create a new quick reply, you just click on the plus, type in a name for it, and then type in what you want it to say. If I go back over to ha ha here, you're going to see it says percent name percent, which is my name, laughed at this. So you can go and change this. And then, of course, you can also add an icon. Let's see what this looks like on the iPad. So I'm looking at Spark here, and I have my same email pulled up. In order to do a quick reply on the iPad, what we need to do is go down to the three dots here. Now, depending on which iPad you have, you may see it right next to these three dots as well. On my other iPad, it actually shows next to these three dots. But basically, all you have to do is just click on this, and then you're going to see Quick Reply. When I click on this, what I'm able to do is respond with a quick reply. I want to edit this. I just click on Edit here. And now I can edit these. I can go and add a new one, and I can rearrange them by dragging these three lines around. In order to do this from the settings, from Spark settings, what we do is we go to our three horizontal lines here, and then we go down to settings, and under settings, you're going to see quick replies. Click on it, and again, I can go and edit these. On the iPhone, it's basically in the same spot as the iPad. I'm going to go to my iPhone here, and we're going to go to that email. I want to use a quick reply here. I tap on the three dots at the very bottom. You're going to see quick reply here. I tap on it, and I'm able to quick reply. Let's go ahead and quick reply so you can kind of see how this works. So I'm just going to go like. I send the reply, and now it just replied with that quick reply. So you can see how easy it is to use quick replies. If I'd like to edit it, I can go to the settings. To do that, we go to our three lines up at the top. We go to settings. And then, just like with the iPad, you're going to see quick replies here. Tap on it, and I can go and edit these. I can create a new one by tapping on Add New. I can edit these, tap on it, and then I can go and change it. Change the icon, change the text. You're going to see it has the variable in there, and what I'm able to do is rearrange these. So that's how we use quick replies with Spark Mail on the Mac, iPad, 
and iPhone.